I've had the pleasure of working with amazing artists, and many of whom you'll see today. If you're here later, when we do our performance, you'll be able to see them dance. And as time goes by, you end up learning more. I truly believe that being an art specialist in the school is working on the front lines. This is something that has been so important to our children for so many years. I'm a product of the arts education system in California. If I hadn't had that nurturing, I would not have done what I do today. And it breaks my heart to think that that funding might not be available, and I'm grateful to the city of Cupertino, to the South Bay in general, and to the Arts Council of Silicon Valley and some of the greatest organizations like Anne Wood's organizations who continue to keep that, keep that cultural art alive, especially. Trying to kind of understand what everyone's seeing at the same time. I'm a little sorry that I didn't uh, tailor the talk to the, what you're seeing. The types of dance that you're seeing on the screen are from Afghanistan, Iran, Tajikistan, many of the countries along the Silk Road, which are in the headlines now, and that people don't understand in the general public as often as we'd like. We're hoping that that changes slowly but surely through the medium, as Dan Wu so eloquently said, the universal medium of music and dance, and through creativity, bringing people into that creative spirit, talking about the culture. It's like a door that opens. We're engaged right now in a cultural exchange project with the people of Tajikistan. We've been really fortunate to have a foundation partner that supported some work over there in creating a support network and uh, various services for the dancers in Tajikistan, almost all women who are in an economic situation which rivals our meltdown, so far exceeds our meltdown to be beyond belief. And we've been fortunate for the last three years to be able to go over and work with them and bring some of the Tajik women over here for dancing. And it's just been a wonderful, wonderful experience. And again, tonight we have uh, a friend from Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, who plays Doda and the company and several people involved. We, when we started this company uh, almost 30 years ago, when I first started working with the Iranian community, it was very rare for, there were no other dance teachers in the area. There were, I think, the only dance company that was performing Iranian dance, Persian dance, traditional dance, was down in Los Angeles, Anthony Shea and Abbas. And we, we were hard pressed to find young women to, and at that time I was a young woman as well, to dance with us, to put in the time, to really, the community had other, another agenda. There was not time to support that type of activity in the family. It's more important to get an education and start your life here. And so there was a, a need that was fulfilled by women who were more of the general public in working with the Iranian community. Then little by little, as the next generations came along, more and more Iranian and Central Asian women started to join the company and had found their creative voice within the Afsani family. We now have expanded our programs, of course. We talked a little bit about the Tajik Cultural Exchange Program, but we also have what is now the umbrella organization, Afsane Art and Culture Society, and you'll see a lot of our literature around, and we also support other programs to be able to function, prepare to be able to uh, give that to the community. Uh, we're, again, uh, working on May 2nd on a festival of the Silk Road here in San Jose at the Mexican Heritage Plaza Theater, and Ann Wu has uh, kindly consented to have the Chinese Performing Arts of America will be participating. We're hoping to gather more uh, Shahrzad Dance Academy 
we're hoping to get as many people involved. And this year, it's relatively small and, and ambitious. And hopefully by next year, we'll have a lot of participation. But as it is, we're having Afghanistan is represented, Iran, of course, Azerbaijan, uh, Chinese Performing Arts of America, doing both classical Chinese and Uyghur or uh, Chinese Turkestan, what some people call the Xinjiang area. And we're very excited about that collaboration to be able to bring knowledge. We'll have a bazaar out in front with people to uh, talk about their, their work and their art, bring that to the community. Now, not only is our group engaged with traditional material, but we also have nurtured the creativity and the, the current, the current uh, events that can be worked and portrayed through art. Uh, it's important to preserve, it's important to show the tradition and show the heritage, but we also feel that it's very important to allow that to flourish in its new garden, which is here in a very creative pl place in the world. So the combinations are just amazing that are starting to come be generated by these young artists. Some of the combinations that explore uh, interfaith uh, issues of interfaith and intergenerational and intercultural relationships. And to allow that creativity to flourish is very important. We have also in the balance of our activities, we have both contemporary and traditional. We also have a balance in participatory and professional. So in our in our Afsani Art and Culture Society, we support activities that are participatory, for instance, dance classes and ensemble groups and semi-professional groups, which will perform and often do performances in schools, libraries, go into schools and, and do participatory performances. And then we have the professional company, which tours uh, internationally now and in the United States and represents the cultures with traditional professional dancers and contemporary dancers. So keeping all of those things, there's a lot of balls to keep up in the air. I often describe it as a juggling act, and I'm sure that uh, as Anne Wu was saying, you, know, you, you juggle your work life, with your art life, with your family life, with your various programs, and uh, you end up with a job that uh, has you working 28 hours a day, eight days a week. Thanks, Lord, and thank you very much. Thank you, Lord. That, that you share the rich culture of the countries of the Silk Road with not only your youth, but also with the rest of, of America. Because there is a rich cultural heritage there that we want to share with the world. And we want to share it with you in America as well.